We are now headed to the oldest church in Medellin, Candelaria. This is all downtown. Here we see a little bit of the history of Antioquia. Oh, okay. Antioquia was always, uh, uh, mining was always a very important really? history. Uh, mining? Until, uh, mining? Mining? the church. Okay. Oh, uh, this is the Parque Berrio. Parque Berrio. And it's the oldest park oh, no. in... One of the old parks. One of the oldest parks in Medellin. Iglesia de la Candelaria. This is Iglesia de Candelaria, the oldest church in Medellin. And they love their coffee here. <laughs> Parque Berrio seems a very busy park, full of people, with live music all the time. This music is Christmas style music. They call it picante. This is one whole family. They do this every year. El Cueco, the hole. This is where a lot of stuff is being sold and it is also known for a little bit of black market movement where you could get a lot of really good stuff for way cheaper. We are inside the Metropolitana Basilica Cathedral, which is the largest brick church structure in the world with almost 1,200,000 bricks. It took 55 years to build it. And it's immense. 1975 to 1830. It took 55 years from 1875 to almost 1930 to complete building this entire structure. Wow, this is nuts. What is this area called? This is called about the way, Colonia Mons. Oh, this, this is, is part of the way, Colonia Mons. Yeah, it's all the way, Colonia Mercado Negro, the black market in its best. <laughs> we are now at the Botanical Gardens of Medellin. This is where all the great action happens during the Flower Festival, which is usually in August. And this structure was built for the orchid display during the Flower Festival and also offers lots of events. Botanical Garden is actually free to the public and they have different concerts, different events that are all free. And it's a really impressive place to get out of the chaos of Medellin, just a little bit away, you can come here. You can take the metro here as well. What is this called? Madre. This Madre Monte. The Madre mother Monte. from the, the Monte, they call like the hills with the forest, you know, like the wild forest in the hills. Okay. And what I have been told about her, about Madre Montes, was like a woman who lost her child, oh, her okay. kids. And she went to the, she was so desperate, she went to the forest and she adopted these animals. You see here like the monkey, the puma, and you see there. So the she frog. became the mother of animals. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got it again. Okay. Centro Nutibara. Cerro Nutibarra Cerro and Nutibara. El Pueblito Paisa, as you say. El Pueblito Paisa is a small village, the replica of a typical Antioquenia village. And Cerro Nutibarra is the whole hill, you know? Okay, right. The exactly. entire hill. It's called C and Cerro, is like a viewpoint. Cerro. These are the you buses. You got a chiva, look at that. This is a chiva. This You're is lucky, like... no? The chi the Here it got the chiva, the chiva, the chiva. Oh, oh nice. Oh. This is the chiva, the very local style bus that is usually found out in the countryside. And it's very similar to the chicken buses of Central America. 